Welcome guys, my name is DK. In this video, we're going to talk about two player pops that I like on prize picks for Thursday's nine-game NBA slate. If this is your first time watching, well, I cover content for prop sites like prize picks, underdog, parlay play. Guys, the sponsor of the video is Parlay Play. If you guys are not on Parlay Play, you can use the link down below for a $100 deposit match bonus, or you can use the code DKDFS. But they offer a ton of different sports you can mix and match. Uh, and you can even win up to 75 extra money on parlay play. So I always say in these videos, my best advice is get on as many of these prop sites as possible. And then when you do want to, like, say, bet on, oh, I don't know, Donovan Mitchell, you can search through, see which one offers the best value, and then go place it on that book. So click the link down below. Again, if you do click the link and deposit, uh, you do help support the channel. I also cover content for Daily Fantasy Sports. Just upload my video, break down the nine game slates. So go check that one out. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Again, apologize for not uploading some prize picks videos over the last uh, few days. Have been very active on Twitter, and we've been on a hot streak over there on Twitter. So I've been doing these ladder challenges, and we have now hit four of our last five plays. We made it to day four uh, earlier this week, uh, and then we just cashed out day one. So make sure to follow me over there on Twitter. Uh, like I said, we've been uh, we've been doing very well over there recently, but did want to get a, a video up for YouTube as well. All right, so let's talk about these two plays. First player, first player we're looking to is assist prop. We're looking at LeBron James at six assists, and we're going to take more than six assists for LeBron James. So let's talk about why I like LeBron over six assists. Well, uh, if you take a look at the Lakers and you just look through some of their game logs, they've been involved in a ton of blowouts this season. Like we can just scroll back to the beginning of the year. Denver, blowout, only 29 minutes for LeBron. Um, let's see. We had uh, scroll through. This game was a blowout uh, against the, the Magic, 20-point game. This game, massive blowout. Uh, let's see. Where else? This game was a massive blowout. This game was a massive blowout. Just back-to-back -back blowouts here for LeBron, who's only gone for, you know, three and five assists. But, again, I've not played full comp of minutes. Um, he is averaging a little over six assists per game on the season. And like I said, you've had, like, 30, 40% of the games be blowouts where he's not played full full minutes. In this game, it should stay competitive. Also, this is a bit of a bigger game against the Thunder. You usually see LeBron in uh, you know bigger games kind of take a step step up offensively, uh, do a bit more of the playmaking. Like against the Pistons, again, he kind of just took a backseat because he really didn't have to do much. It was also the D-Lo show. But um, yeah, you usually do uh, have LeBron step up in these bigger games. I expect a bit more ball handling. I expect this game to stay competitive as well. I would be pretty surprised if this game does blow out. Uh, so pick number one, again, we're taking uh, more than six assists here for LeBron James. And then pick number two, we're going to be looking to do a PRA prop. Let's take a look at Sadiq Bay for the Atlanta Hawks. This prop is currently sitting at 21 and a half, and we're going to take also uh, over 21 and a half PRA for Sadiq Bay. Let's talk about that, right? Uh, let's go to Atlanta, and let's take a look at the Atlanta Hawks. Let's take a look at their rotation. So Jalen Johnson uh, has been out last couple of games. So Sadiq Bay moved into the starting lineup. Uh, a couple of games ago, got in massive foul trouble. Um, and then last game, uh, played 32 minutes, but the game was a blowout. So let's take a look. Uh, I have Popcorn Machine up. Uh, we're going to kind of track to see what the rotation looked like for Sadiq Bay. So Sadiq Bay, first half had his normal rotation, right? He played uh, the first, what, six minutes, and then came in at the end of the first quarter, played the last two and a half minutes, played the first, like, four minutes of the, third, of the second quarter, sat on the bench for a little bit, and then came back and played the last six minutes. And you can kind of see, well, in the second half, look, similar rotation. And he checked back in here in the fourth quarter. Um, and then the game turned into a massive blowout. So they pulled him with four minutes to go. So Sadiq Bey was on pace to play 36 minutes. Now, if you take a look at his regular season average for minutes, you know, he was coming off the bench averaging like mid-20s minutes. Uh, you, you can say again, like 25 to 28 minutes he's been averaging this season mainly. And uh, looking at his... Uh, total this season, he's averaging about 12, 6, and 1. Or it's 82, so about, you know, 20 or so. Um, and again, that's in like 20, like in mid-20s minutes. Well, I expect him to play mid-30s minutes in this game. Also, if you take a look at the line on this game, the Spurs and Hawks team, bring it up. It is a 247 over-under. High total game. I'm expecting solid minutes for Sadiq Bay mid 30s, uh, and yeah, game should stay competitive. The Hawks are playing on the road, so I think that the Spurs team can at least keep it close, where the starters play full complement of minutes. A good spot, increased minutes. Uh, we're going to take uh, again over 
21 and a half PRA for Sadiq Bay is pick number two. Fingers crossed. Again, no random blowout or no foul trouble for Sadiq Bay. If he can avoid those and he plays, you know, mid 30s minutes, I think a pretty good shot to hit this one. So those are going to be the two picks for today, guys. We're taking LeBron James over six assists and we're taking Sadiq Bay um, over 21 and a half PRA. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be doing day two of the ladder challenge later. Uh, we're giving out some more free picks. Uh, but yeah, as always, guys, if you do enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's try to aim for 100 likes on this video. And we'll see you guys all in the next one.